Last night, the battle for the lead role in Andrew Lloyd Webber's production of The Wizard of Oz begins now. The Lord is in the house. Can I call you Andy? You can call me Dorothy if you like. <laughs> This is serious attitude, and I love attitude. Wow, that was such an experience. Best storyteller so far. That was spectacular. I just sung in front of Canada. I <laughs> can't even talk. All I can say is, wow! The top ten Dorothy's are as good as I've ever seen on any of the shows. <laughs> Welcome to our very first live results show. I'm your host, Darren Jones. Hi. Tonight, the dream of playing Dorothy in Andrew Lloyd Webber's production of The Wizard of Oz at the Ed Mervish Theater will end for one girl. Soon we'll learn how you voted and which two girls will be singing to keep their dream alive. Now, without further ado, please welcome to the stage our top 10 Dorothys. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome your top 10 Dorothys, AJ, Cassandra. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Colleen, Danielle. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Jennifer, Jesse. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. Julia, Kelsey. Michelle, Stephanie. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. We hear he is a wizard of a wizard, if ever a wizard there was. If ever, a, ever a wizard there was, the wizard of Oz is what? Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. today, isn't it? It is a very nerve-wracking day. It's elimination day. Well done, ladies. Let's put our hands together for our panel of judges. Hello, Louise Peacher. Good to see you. Good to see you. Looking lovely as always. Hi. And of course, Tom Allison. Good to see you, sir. Good to be here. Hello to the lovely and enchanting Arlene Phillips. Thank you. Arlene. And now I'd like to introduce my personal mentor, and new roommate, that's right, we're going halvesies on a loft. It's Andrew Lloyd Webber. I will never get used to that music. That is so exciting. No, will I. <laughs> now, I think we'd make great roommates, don't you think? I think we could, but we'll have to talk about it later. You, you can have the top bunk, the bottom bunk, whatever you like. We'll talk about it. We'll make it a reality show. We'll sell it to CBC. You've got some pull around here. I think that'd be a lot of fun. It could be. You never know. Big Brother could strike. <laughs> exactly. Now, let's get serious for a second. Today, it's Elimination Day. You decide who goes home. Yeah. How difficult will that decision be? Well, it's really, really hard because we've got such a good bunch this time, and we really have ten terrific kids, so difficult with knobs on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you've got a tough, tough choice yeah. ahead of you, Andrew. It'll be interesting to see what you do. Thank you very much, Andrew. Now, the dream of becoming Dorothy is almost as exciting as the dream of becoming Canada's very own Toto. But, that's right, but you cannot do both. So sorry, girls, you're out of that competition. 
I am pleased to announce the search for Toto is on. Our Toto, yes, dog lovers, of course. Dogs and Dorothys, that's what this show is all about. But our Toto has to be cute. Our Toto has to be smart. And no peeing on the ruby slippers, Toto. Let the battle begin. Thousands of man's best friends are here at Woofstock, ready to work their tails off to win the honorary title of Toto in our finale. Does he have it? We're looking for it. He definitely has the it factor. By it, I'm talking ringworm. No. No. What uh, breed of horse is this? Harlequin Great Danes. Good lord. Will Zazzle be all right with this? There's no place like home, Zazzles. These are the brave pups. So here we are, basically backstage. How's the energy backstage here? Is it, uh, are the dogs nervous? No. <laughs> Is he a butt sniffer? I guess that's he. Yes, go boy! You could have clipped his nails. What happened to Wolf? Ah, uh, he was born blind in that eye. But he's all he's a therapy dog, he's happy. Let's meet our first potential Toto, Kiyono. Look everybody, it's Riley. Who wants to meet Blackie? With only 10 spots to fill, the job of finding the pick of the litter falls on our panel of esteemed judges. Mike McBath is a world-class dog show judge. I just love this dog's face. And joining her is Canada's favorite celebrity couple, it's Colin Mockery and Deb McGrath. Wow, look at the eyes. The eyes are, Almost looks uh, like a velvet painting of a dog. Yeah, Dad should be playing poker with some other <laughs> dogs. I know. Not only are Colin and Deb dog lovers, they're veterans of the Canadian theater, and they know stage presence when they see it. He's like a toy, he's so cute. Here's Daisy. I think she's so charming. You can sense the want in this dog to get this part. Could you not see this as a toto? Oh. <laughs> I sense there's some heartwarming happening out there. I've seen this and it's a fantastic trick. There's the roll. Of course, our judges were open to totos of all shapes and sizes. I want you to meet Riker, a German shepherd, vying for the role of Toto. It's 2012, time we open our minds. Why not, right? That would be a bold Toto choice. I think Toto could ride the bicycle. It doesn't have yes, to be in the bicycle. True. Say hello to Wolf. Small enough to fit in a basket. The basket criteria, of course, is always important. Say hello to Rip, everyone. Without a net or a helmet. Oh, easy does it, Rip. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Give it up for Rip, everybody. Oh. All right. Our judges have made their decision. Our top ten totos are Dazzling Daisy, Darling Daniel, Dynamic Dexter, The Explosive Diesel, Give Me Guinness, Lovely Lindsay, Why Not Riley, Let It Rip, Big Bad Riker, and the Tenacious Wolf. Here I am in the Dog Pound. Show our totos for some love, gang. Here they are. This is Daniel. Do you want to be Toto, Daniel? If Toto shakes, you sure do. But I have some bad news there, Daniel, because tonight, two Dorothys with the lowest number of votes are in danger of going home. So remember to go to cbc.ca slash over the rainbow, get the app, you earn extra votes, use them on next week's show to keep your favorite Dorothy safe. You can't see this, but there's a line of trainers literally throwing dog treats at my body. <laughs> this is the greatest thing I've ever done. All right, Daniel, you doing all right? Coming up, your top 10 will perform together after the break. Welcome back. Now, tonight's show is being dedicated to someone very special, and Andrew, why don't you explain who that is? Well, we're dedicating tonight's show to Marvin Hamlish, who is one of the true giants of American musical theater, who died very recently, a great friend of mine, and he helped me a lot in my early career. All right, well, in honor of his memory, absolutely. Andrew, you chose one of Marvin Hamlish's most iconic songs for tonight's group number, so that'll be fantastic. Looking forward to seeing that. 
performing one from a chorus line, please welcome our top 10 Dorothys. <laughs> One thrilling combination 